All right, Sky, first of all, this series against El Paso, what does it mean to you guys battling for first place against a pretty good ball club? And you guys uh, got them on the first night and looking to be able to uh, take the lead in this division. Yeah, of course. This is, uh, you brought it up, this is the biggest series I think that we're going to play all, all year. I mean, it comes down to that. We got them for three at home today uh, and tomorrow, and then we go to their place and we've got them for another three. And uh, obviously, being at the top of the, uh, the division, each of these games is worth two games apiece. So. Uh, it was great to get off to a good start yesterday, uh, jump out to an early lead, and we were able to, to maintain and hold on to that lead. So looking to do the same thing tonight. we got good, good guys on the mound. We believe in our lineup, and uh, if we can come out of here and, and win two out of three to set us up for that last series at their place in El Paso, uh, it'll be put us in a good position to make a push for the end. What does it mean for you to be able to play in the A's organization? You got a taste of the big leagues this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, back down now, you, you feel pretty good about this organization, your place in it? Yeah, I can't thank this organization enough for the opportunity they've given me. It's been um, a roller coaster ride if you look at the past two years in my career. Um, I can't say that any organization uh, other than Oakland would have given me such a shot, and, and they have. They believed in me uh, every step of the way, and that's something that I, you know, I can only speak for Oakland, but I don't know that that exists everywhere else. And um, From the day I've been drafted to, to today, they've treated me with respect, they've treated me well, and uh, like the guy that they want me out there to, to, to play center field and outfield um, as the guy they drafted. And again, they've given me copious opportunities, and for that I'm forever thankful. How about playing in this ballpark? What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? It's, uh, it's an interesting ballpark. You know, I, I've said it before. I think it encompasses everything Las Vegas. Um, this ballpark is, is uniquely built. Uh, the fans in this, this stadium is packed every night. Uh, we get copious crowds. It's, it's, it's fun. It's easy to go out there and play every night for these guys. Um, the ball travels, you know, it's fun hitting here. It's uh, tough pitching for those guys in the bullpen. They, they're not so stoked about it, but, you know, that's something we look forward to every day here. You know, and no game is out of reach. You got to play all nine innings because the ball travels so well, there's going to be a lot of offense. So uh, from that first pitch of the ball game to the last, you've got to be locked in and, and ready to swing the bat and make good things happen. Well, what does it mean to have the fans? I mean, how much difference it is it to have 10,000 sure. people yeah, here. No, sure. Does it make a difference for you as a player to be able to perform in a crowd that is engaged with the game? Absolutely, without a question. I mean, it's, it's like getting up to go to work every day and you have, you know, 10, 15,000 fans out there cheering you on, rooting you on. It's easy to get up every day, go out there. We play 140 plus games depending on the playoffs. Um, and, you know, that's an aspect of the game. You know, all those games, they add up. It gets tough to get out there every day. But whenever you're at home and you've got all those fans out there, it makes, it makes the experience fun. It makes it realistic. Uh, it gives you a taste of what the next level's like at the big league level when you've got 20-plus thousand people in the stands every night. So uh, it's a little taste here in Las Vegas. The, the Summerlin community, everybody around here has been fantastic. Um, and, again, it just makes it easy and it makes it fun to go out there and play every night with nine other guys. We had uh, Bo, Bo said this is the best field he's ever played on sure. in the minor leagues, sure. at least. Is it, would, would you concur? I concur 100%. Yeah, the, the grounds crew out here has done a phenomenal job. Uh, the surface is, is second to none. Um, having a little bit of a taste up there at the big league level and having played at some other stadiums just in the past, um, it's right up there. You know, this is the cream of the crop. This is what you work your, your entire life to play for, and this is what you get to play on once you get to that level. And this is just a, uh, another example of, of what the surface looks like up there at the big league level, and it's the best minor league ballpark I've ever played in. How about the food at the ballpark? Have you had a chance yet to try any of the food or just the, just the locker room food? Uh, not uh, yeah, I don't want to lie. I haven't, had, I haven't had all the, the specials that I see up there every night up on the scoreboard. Um, our make, food you hung, make you hungry, though? Yeah, you get in the middle of the game, you get that seventh, eighth inning, and your, your stomach's turning. You, you want to go <laughs> grab a, a piece of what's up there on the concourse. Um, no, but it seems like every, every corner of the stadium you look, there's some sort of different variety of food, whether it's Latin food, whether it's some sort of Chinese mix, some American mix of a, of a traditional ballpark staple. Um, this place is phenomenal. It smells great, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. you